workplace dynamics, it's a complicated topic and we are going to address it head on here this morning. I'm with Joanne Lippman, a best-selling author of That's What She Said. It's a book about closing the gender divide in the workplace and how important it is for men to be part of the conversation. Joanne, tell us about your book. So I began That's What She Said three years ago and the, the reason I wrote it is because women have been talking with each other about the issues we face at work for many, many years. Issues like feeling marginalized, overlooked, underpaid, simply not given the same level of respect as the man sitting right next to us. But what we haven't been doing is talking to men about it. And so I felt like women talking to one another, it's a great conversation, but it's half a conversation. And for us to really come to a full solution, we need men to be part of that conversation. What was the most surprising finding? You know, I found surprises all along the way, um, but so much of what I found was that um, so much of what we experience at work doesn't start in the workplace. It's really things that start way earlier back at home. A lot of it is unconscious bias, right? Unconscious bias are these biases that we have that are buried so deeply inside of us that we don't even realize they exist. And we all have them. Women have them, men have them, and they impact every element of every day and this is the, it's the reason why women are very often uncomfortable in the workplace there are these very subtle things that are happening to us could you tell us what are some of the important steps we should take to try to close this gender divide sure and in that's what she said i actually have a cheat sheet in the back of the book with a dozen steps you can take right now to help close the gender gap and as I'll just give you a couple of, of examples because these are simple steps that actually move the needle and I gleaned them from interviews that I did with primarily with men who are trying to close the gap because I interviewed men across the country in a variety of industries and um, they came up with these strategies so for example um, women the research tells us are interrupted three times more frequently than men and in fact, um, there was a study done of the Supreme Court of the United States that found that female Supreme Court justices are interrupted three times more frequently than male Supreme Court justices. So a couple of the men who I spoke with who are managers came up with a solution, which is a no interruptions rule in meetings. Very simple, the idea being if you're speaking man or woman, you must be allowed to finish your thought and then others can weigh in. And um, the men who I spoke with said it really transformed the meetings because there were a lot of these instances where women were simply not contributing because every time they opened their mouths, they got, con they got interrupted by their male colleagues. That's actually a great strategy. I think we all should talk to our employers about maybe a no interruption rule. Absolutely, and I do feel that anyone, it doesn't have to be the boss, anyone should feel empowered in a meeting to say, oh, wait a second, Diane was speaking. I would love to hear her finish, right? It's not impolite and it gives the floor back to the person who was interrupted. So besides interruption, if you could wave a magic wand and get rid of one behavior in the workplace, what would it be? You know, the overarching element here is respect. There is an enormous respect gap between men and women, and it is, it's not our imagination. There is research that shows that if you put a man and a woman in exactly the same job with the same title, the man has more power, more influence, and gets more respect than the woman in exactly the same job. And so this underlies almost all of the issues that we talk about. And if we could simply close the respect gap, that would go a long way toward actually really eliminating so many of the obstacles that women face. That's great. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope everyone takes the time to read That's What She Said. It's great strategies for men and women in the workplace. Thank you so much, Joanne. Thanks for having me.